Well, hi there. In this video, we'll quickly look at the inventory module. So I'm going to quickly create a new account that I'll be linking to a service item a little later on. So we'll go to Company, Chart of Accounts, and I'm going to create a revenue account that will be affected when we sell, or uh, that is um, sell the service item that we'll create later on. So I'll click on my little book to create a new account. This is going to be 4210, 4,000 our revenues, and I'll call it Guitar Rentals. It should indeed be a group account, but we can double check this, that it's in the right order after we create it. The class option is operating revenue. That got picked up when we chose 4210. And I'm going to choose save and close. Now if I scroll down, or actually I can actually search for 4210 here, make sure the structural code matches the accounts that are nearby. So again, that account will be linking as a revenue account for a service item that we'll create later on. So I'm going to quickly create a couple of inventory or one inventory item, one service item. Um, you can create the other inventory items. I'll create those as well for uh, later exercises. But in this screencast, I'll just quickly create one inventory item and one service item. So I'll go to inventory and services. My favorite way to create an inventory item is to simply click on this little black triangle or the entire text there and add inventory and service. And that gives me a new blank record for an inventory item. Another way is to click on the icon and use the book. You get to the same screen. So again, I find this a little quicker unless I'm already in the set of records. So I'll be adding a B120. We're using B as a code for brass in this music store. So you can use codes like that. We also have categories as well. And this is called brass trombone mouthpiece. Uh, we sell them by the each. Pricing, this is the selling price. The purchase price is automatically calculated by an average of what we pay for the items, so we don't actually add that. So I'll sell this for $69.50 for our regular customers, preferred customers, as well as web customers. You may want to give uh, different prices for your variety of customers. Um, notice I only get revenue ex and expense because I presently have service check. This is actually an inventory item. So we want a cost and an asset as well. So notice when we change it to knit inventory, we get a cost and an asset account, which are also required. So 1530 for the asset, 4030 for the revenue, 5030 for the cost. Variance will use 5100 for everything, which is the inventory variance. We're not building this item. We won't look at this until level two. And that's all we need to add for that inventory item. I'm going to choose create another so I can create a service item. So we can take a look at that. I'm going to choose service this time. Number for this is X102. All of our service items in this company are denoted by X. And I'm going to call this a guitar rental. So anytime we rent a guitar, this is the item that we put on the invoice. Unit of measure is by the day. Pricing, we charge $25 a day. Linked, again, we only have the two accounts instead of four that we get with an, with an inventory item. And we're going to pick up that account that we created, Guitar Rentals. By the way, this activity is useful for time slips. We don't need to worry about that quite yet. And 
that's all we need to do with our service item. So I'll choose save and close. And let's quickly modify one of our service or one of our inventory items. So to modify an item, you can simply click on the link right here in the list. You can do the same thing with our customers, our suppliers, and our employees. They'll appear in these little lists as well. If we click on that, we are brought to the record. So I'm going to make the reorder quantities 500. So what that means is the system will alert us once this inventory item drops below 500. Um, it, it'll, it, this is also use for, useful for a particular report. It'll tell us how many we need to order to maintain that minimum level. And save and close. So that's inventory items in a nutshell. Um, again, there are a couple more in my uh, notes that you can add, or if you have the book, you can add those items. I'll add those as well. You'll see them in my later data sets. Thanks for watching.